welcome back to another episode of Lazy Angler. Today we're out with Shane and Danny, and we're after Triple Tail. We've got our live well loaded up with jumbo shrimp, and we're ready to see if we can get them to eat. Stay tuned, and we'll be back for a catch, clean, and cook at the end. Shane is on. That didn't take long. That was the first cast on the second buoy. Oh, we got a big splash down. All right, Shane, don't suck. What's the game plan here? Slow and steady. He's not ready. Oh, yeah. Might be bigger than 24, Shane. What do you think? It could be. I'm gonna fight him like a 29er. I don't like a 29. This is the time of the year for them breeders. He's not wanting it. No, he's just turning his body and using it. Shane on his red lion, 6 to 12, 10 pound test, 20 pound leader. Good fish, good fish. Strong in the winter. Oh yeah. Frying some triple tail roe. The 27 plus sometimes pop out with roe. Good technique, nice and smooth. See the leader, see the fish. On minute four of the fight now. Here he comes. Oh, oh yeah. That's a gutter one right there. Dude, that thing is real. That's a gutter gutter one. Yeah. More gutter one. That's a gutter plus. <laughs> we gotta get a measure on that guy. I would suggest not up here. Let's do it down there. Look at that. He is on zero. He is 27 and a half all day. Boy. And fat. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep. That's gonna be the one. Oh, baby. That's the one. Two hours later. I see it up there. Straight ahead. Ortega, what you doing? Got a little guy. Maybe a 18 and a half, 19. Here he comes. Nope, there he goes. Just gotta keep grinding. Back to the first buoy we started at that Shane caught his on. Fish about eight, 10 buoys, nothing. And we're back. This one, this is one of the males. He was, he came back looking for that female, trying to impregnate her. She's gone. Here you go. That's gonna be a barely keeper. We're at zero. We're at 18. Easy all day, and I'm over zero here, so we got us a keeper. Another triple tail for the box. First one, 2021 for you. Oh yeah, you know me. Never catch these. If you want to see the size difference between a keeper and a real one, oh it's not even close. The fillet of this one will be the size of this one. Well, it took about two hours to get our second one, but we got them. Fished it for another 10, 15 minutes, no other bites. So we're going to move on, keep trying. Stay tuned. If we don't get any more, I will see you in the kitchen dropped Shane off at the ramp so that he could get to work and Danny and I headed to the back country to try to pluck a couple of redfish. It didn't work out today as they weren't hungry and there was a couple other boats in the area so they were kind of scattered, spread out, but we messed around for like 45 minutes and then headed back home. Alright, welcome back to my house. We've got Shane's beautiful triple tail from today. New personal best for him, better than my best. So this is a real one, it's a big fish. All right, 
so I just measured this fillet and from right here at zero to the top of this fillet is at 16 inches 16 inch fillet off of this bad girl that is a beautiful thing just cut out the middle here just trying to get a little bit more of that red gone I'm gonna take this inside along with the other one wrap it in paper towels and get it into the fridge I've got them wrapped in paper towels all thrown into the baggie. We chuck it in there and let it rest, firm up until it's time to cook. Guess I better reward myself for cleaning Shan's fish for him. All in a hard day's work. All right, we got our back sealed triple tail out of the fridge. Over here, we've got our coconut ginger rice already going. That's about as easy as it gets for a lazy angler recipe. Also, gonna make a little horseradish cream sauce. Have about up to here, a little bit of heavy whipping cream left over in my fridge. Gonna just pour that down in there. Horseradish, as much as you like. I like horseradish, so I'm gonna put a good amount in there. Actually, we're gonna put a little more than that because I want it to be very horseradishy and not so creamy. Ain't nothing wrong with some butter. About like that. Chuck that in there. Now we're gonna get our fish blackened in here once our pan's nice and hot. Time everything up so that it's good and ready when our rice is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the fish started here in about a minute. Hey buddy, you want this? Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. We've gotta cut down into our three pieces for dinner here. Hit our Everglades. Hit our mojo, and of course, Tony Chi Cherries. Tony Chi Cherries is going to be our blackening seasoning. So we're going to put that on there. Make sure that gets blackened up. It's all getting blackened on this side. The back side is just going to get a little bit of Everglades seasoning, and we're ready to go ahead and get this in the pan. So as you see, we're on medium high heat. Got a hot pan. Gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Get it in there nice and hot. Hear that sizzle. Get the next piece in. Then what you want to do here is lift and shake. That way your fish doesn't stick. Now we're going to leave that there until it's cooked about three quarters of the way through. Once we see the white up around the edges, then we're going to go ahead and flip it off and finish it in some butter. Got a little piece of butter just on top of each piece. Spread that out a little bit. Hit that with our Everglades. And as you can see, the edges of this fish are just starting to look cooked. This piece especially. This one's thicker, so not quite as ready, but we're gonna go ahead and flip that one. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna pick that up. Shake it up so it doesn't stick. And go ahead and flip the second piece. Shake it up. Now that butter underneath is getting cooked up. And this one we want down in the pan with all the heat. It's gonna bubble up. We're gonna turn our heat down a little to medium. Now we're gonna keep lifting it and shake the butter underneath. There we go, just like that. Not so much that we're going to kill anybody with it, but just enough to have a nice buttery finish. Checking on our sauce back here, good and bubbly. Got the heat reduced down to a simmer. Clear that up. Big plate goes to Shane with the big fat piece because he caught it. Second biggest slab goes to the wife because she worked all day and I've been eating at home like a fatty. And then I've got that rib side bottom filet. She loves being on camera. Mm. Her leftover easy little horseradish cream sauce. That's good stuff. 
killed it. If you like the video, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We out. Peace.